The Ciro 3D Bluetooth enabled crown tail light with light strike technology. Animate your brake light for more visibility while on the road with a variety of run and brake modes all selectable from an app right on your phone. This tail light lets you have 10 different power on animations, three brake animations and five brake burst animations all selected by an app from your phone that connects to the tail light. But before we get into that and I show you guys how this thing works, first we're going to do an install on my buddy Shane's 2014 Street Glide. Always the colored instructions. You've got a harness that'll hook up underneath your seat, plug and play, and the light. All right, now that we got all the stuff unboxed, it's time to take the seat off. And you're actually supposed to, in the instructions, it says to use a motorcycle lift so you can get up underneath the rear of the bike so you can make your work easier. Well, my buddy Corey loaned me this lift so I could do these videos. And uh, I just, I've tried to use it four or five times now and I'm just not comfortable with it. It's a little, it's Harbor Freight, I believe. And putting a big Harley bagger on it, it's a little sketchy. So we're not gonna use it today. We're just gonna go a little old school and crawl around on the dirty floor and leaves and get ourselves all filthy. So it makes us feel better when we're done. But like everything else on a motorcycle, we're gonna start by taking off the seat. So how this is gonna work is this is gonna plug into our factory harness and it's wide off to this little plug, which our tail light is gonna click into. No wiring on this one, it's just plug and play. The hardest part's just gonna be working underneath the fender. This one's gonna look a little bit different than most. This already has a Y connector on this for another light that Shane had on his tour pack. And if you guys remember back when I put the flag on this bike, I tapped into those wires on that Y for the luggage rack. Basically all we're gonna do is just put that Y in there again, a Y to a Y, and then I'll leave that out. As you can see, you just click that in. Once you hear it snap, you know you're good to go. And then you're left with this wire here. And while we're here, just to make sure for warranty or anything like that, we're gonna make sure everything works before we do all the work. So we're just gonna click this in. Now our light is hooked up. And that flash you're seeing, all of that is changeable. Before we go ahead and mount this, I wanted to tell you guys, you can get this in chrome or black and also with a light smoke or red lens. So four different configurations there, whatever kind of fits your bike. If I did this for my bike, I'd probably get black with a smoke lens, but unfortunately they do not make this for my year of bike, which is a 2011. But if you want to get one of these for yours, they make it for a 14 and up street glide, a 15 and up road glide, or a 17 and up road king special. I'll put a link down in the description of this video. Uh, if you go through that link, I get a little bit of a kickback and it helps the channel out a lot. So if you're looking to pick one of these up, I would greatly appreciate it if you went through that link. Next part of the instructions is we're gonna go ahead and move our left saddlebag to get that out of the way. So that'll help run our wiring up from the rear fender up onto underneath the seat. And if you come down underneath your fender, this is a little dust cover here. So you're just gonna kind of pry this thing down over these clips and then this cover will come off. And then this wire right here that connects in, you're gonna unplug that. I'm gonna try to do this while I have it on camera, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it one-handed. And that cover just kind of comes off like that. Then this right here, just undo that. There's one on the top, and then that plug should come right out. And what that wire does is it actually runs up. Let's see if I can get this to focus. It actually runs up here which is going to be up here that connects all this stuff up here. And I can't really show you on the bike, but then we're going to remove this nut that sits just above that cover. It's a 7 16 Once you get the nut off the inside of that lower piece, 
uh, you're gonna want to there's a bolt on each side right about here and I found it's easier if you use a gear wrench you can just reach it up there and do that if you have a short handled ratchet that also works well uh, so just it's a half inch just reach up in there and you're gonna unbolt this whole tail light assembly from the fender once you get it close to coming out you're gonna want to make sure it doesn't fall and scratch your paint so just hold on to it everything's just gonna pull out of that hole and don't worry about getting dirty it's super clean up there <laughs> okay obviously the goal here is to mount this on top of this light which means this reflector has to go so on the back side there's a t27 torx on each side here just take those off and that reflector will pop off you will have to put these bolts back in to hold your license plate bracket on So now that that's off and you can see the top of this, this has a little recessed area where this 3M tape is, and that'll, that notch will just kind of set down inside of the tail light. Just like that. We're not gonna do that just yet though. We're gonna run this wire and then we're gonna put this assembly back into the fender. All right, so what we're gonna do is once we get it kind of set where we want it, we're gonna go ahead and put this wire through the grommet with the rest of the wires that are in this tail light assembly. And then before we stick this down or anything, we're just gonna feed all this back into the bike and bolt everything back in. So just kind of redo what you just did, reinstall this, bolts and everything, and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, now that all this stuff is bolted back in, it's tight, except for this is not mounted yet. Uh, all my stuff under here is bolted back in, clipped in. Again, there's two bolts here. Then you have the, the hole down here with uh, that holds the wiring. There's a nut on that. And then I plugged in the wire where this plugs in down to here to the tri bar light. And then I put the dust cover back on. So that leaves us with a whole bunch of wire hanging out and this so we're going to mount this next and i'm going to do it just a little bit different than the directions say the bottom side of this is curved you know to follow this on the inside radius so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of set it in where i want it and then i'm just going to mark on the corners right here i'm going to put some tape down just so i get my side to side good and then what i'm going to do is after i pull my red tape off here well i'm going to clean this up really good and then I'm going to use that radius. So I'm going to pull this towards me, towards the back, you know, this way, once I get that red tape off. And then I'll slowly use that radius to seat this down like that. So that way it's even and it's basically seats against that radius and that, and that makes it so you're not crooked that way. There's probably multiple ways you can do that, but that's how I'm going to do it. And now that it's on there like that, I'm just going to take a little bit of tape and just kind of ballpark my sides. That way when I'm putting it back on with the adhesive, I don't have to worry about getting it completely off. All right, so that kind of marks my side to side. Now I'm just gonna clean under here. We're gonna use a little bit of invisible glass to clean this. I'm probably gonna use this invisible glass and then I'll come back with some denatured alcohol like the directions say. You don't want any oils on that or that's, that tape's not gonna stick. Just running my fingernail over this tape. I actually did a test last year and uh, it does actually help if you run your fingernail along this tape before you pull it off. It kind of activates that. I did it on one and not on the other and the one I didn't do fell off. So, <laughs> Okay, tape's off. Kind of go off my my green tape for setting this down. I know the angle's not the greatest for you guys, but you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, I'm gonna pull it towards the back of the bike now that I have it centered. Okay, then you're gonna, once you get it on there, you're gonna hold it down for about 60 seconds. That'll help it stick. And then in, in the directions, it says it takes 24 hours to cure, so. All right, 60 seconds is done. I'm gonna pull these off. Looks good there. 
And that's what it looks like installed. On the left side of your bike, you'll notice down here, there's some wires that come out from the fender. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wire and we're gonna follow that wire up. So it kind of comes up in here, it'll come out, we'll run it up under the fender strut here. And then under here, behind the strut, we'll come out and we'll come into the underneath the seat area and then we'll go ahead and hook it up. Make sure you go up under the fender and secure the new wire to the other wires down there. Make sure it's out of the way of your tire, any moving parts. I can't really show you that on camera, but I'm gonna crawl under there and zip tie all that up. It managed to fit inside these factory clips. And then when I got to this area here, I ran it down under this plate and it came out right here. So really convenient because I didn't, I didn't have to come up here and then risk getting it pinched under the seat or anything like that. So that's kind of nice. So uh, now that it's uh, routed, I'm just gonna plug it in quick, one-handed. I'll probably put some uh, dielectric grease on those connections, but uh, I'll show you guys how this thing works. Okay, I'll show you guys how to use this, whether you're on Apple or Android. Go to your app store and type in Light Strike. This will bring up the Light Strike app here by Triumph Brilliance. Go ahead and install the app. Once the app is installed, just go ahead and open up. It's going to search for nearby equipment. The bike is currently off, so it won't find anything. All right, I'll have Heather turn the bike on. And as you can see, it found the crown tail light and it goes through its startup sequence. Go ahead and tap on that. It'll connect to it. And I haven't messed with this a whole lot, but here's a few things that you can do. It'll show you your battery voltage at the top. You can select your power on animations. So this is when you turn your key on the animation it will use right after you do that. There are 10 of these you can select from. Right here is the run brightness slider. You can dim that or make it brighter to make, if you dim it up a little bit, your brake lights will seem a little brighter. There's also a brake animation. So there's three of those. So I'll put this on two and have Heather hit the brakes quick. And as you can see, it's a brake light for a little bit and then it starts doing the brake animation. And then I'll go ahead and just do the third one while we're in here and show you guys what that one looks like. These will update over time as they add more to the app, I would assume. They also have a brake burst mode, so if you're on the brake for a long time, the light will flash to alert the vehicle behind you. You can see how it's bursting here. So that's kind of how you run the tail light. Uh, I hope that helped you guys a little bit and I hope I helped you install your own and we'll see you in the next one.